Hello, welcome and thank you for joining us for the Win Awards 2022. And to set the scene for today's presentation, here's the editor of World Interiors News, Alison Carter. I'd like to wish you a very warm welcome to this year's Win Awards ceremony. Today, we will see some outstanding achievements and rightful winners as this virtual ceremony showcases the imaginative and innovative work of global interior designers. The collection of entries this year prove there is inspired and vivid creativity to be found in many different projects and in many locations. Judging was completed by an extensive panel of top international experts who all put the entries through a rigorous process to reinforce the award's high standards. We're really pleased to celebrate the work of all the finalists and thank you to all of those who took the time to enter earlier in the year. Many congratulations to all the winners. Now let's find out who's won and enjoy the vision of these superb designs. Thank you. Thank you, Alison Carter. So now we're just moments away from rewarding this year's winners. Choosing the very best of them was a tough job for the impressive judging panel of industry experts. Let's hear from some of those hardworking judges. It's been a great honor and privilege to be a juror for this year's Win Design Awards. Congratulations to everyone. I'd like to congratulate all the finalists and winners of this year's Win Awards. Thank you for your creativity and good luck on getting your trophy. Congratulations to all the Win Award recipients. It was wonderful to see such a diverse array of projects from so many talented designers from around the world. I'd like to say thank you and congratulations to all the finalists. It was a privilege to be part of the judging team. Um, we got to discuss and analyze some really beautiful projects. And again, congratulations to all of the winners. It's delightful being the judge over the years for the WIN Award and witness the growing entries both in quantity and quality. Congratulations to all the winners of this year's award. And with all the inspirational entries, may I speak on behalf of the judging panel that we are all winners for the improvement of the design community. And now it's time to reveal this year's winners in no fewer than 24 hotly contested categories. And don't forget to tell the world about today's results using the hashtag WinAwards, or you can tag us at WInteriorsNews. And we kick off today's awards presentations with the interiors categories, starting with cultural venues, with no fewer than nine inspiring finalists. And from those, the judges awarded bronze to Olsen Kundig. Then their silver goes to Nissen Richards Studio. But winning today's first gold award for cultural venues, it's CNC Design for the Galaxy Sugar Factory Cultural Museum. The Galaxy Sugar Factory Cultural Museum has become an impressive feature of Tianwu's Lakeside District, playing an important role in supporting the city's cultural tourism industry and reshaping the texture and spirit of the city. Hello, 唐厂博物馆是在工业遗址上建设的一个公共建筑，它的落成是一种新生，也是一种传承。在城市更新进步的同时，我们乐于去寻找城市与人之间关系更深的认同。再次感谢Win first Win Gold Award for Cultural Venues to CNC Design. Our next award is for education and learning, and here there's no shortlist, just a well-deserved silver. 
and that's HKS for BISD Smithfield Elementary School. Replacing a former elementary school, this 98,000 square feet scheme anchors an historic pedestrianised community, which includes an inclusive learning environment reflecting its historical context and meeting the sensory needs of its special education students. Education and Learning Silver Winner HKS Next, the Win Award for Experiential Design and this time four inspiring finalists. And from those, the judges awarded silver to Pig Design. But receiving the judges' gold award, it's Law Studio. This winning project features thin wooden panels as the main construction material. Manufactured by a local timber factory, the thin timber panels were assembled by hand, skillfully bending them, then connecting them to steel frames to create a natural, spatial atmosphere. Uh, I am LU Studio Experiential Design Gold Winner, Law Studio. Our next award is for the best lighting project, and there are six finalists vying for this win trophy. And from those, two silver awards. One to BDP for LDNW. And the second silver to Studio Illumin. But the gold winner here, BDP for Theatre Royal Drury Lane. For the first time in a century, the Grade 1 listed theatre was completely refurbished to cutting-edge standard through contemporary lighting effects that drew inspiration from the past, merging techniques of the 19th and 21st centuries. Thank you so much for this award. It really makes a difference knowing that experts in the world look at our work and can see the quality in what we do. Thank you. Lighting Project's Gold Winner, BDP. We come now to the Healthcare and Wellbeing Award for hospitals and clinics. And these are the finalists. And this time, the judges made two bronze awards. One for Ketu Architectural Planning and Design. And one to Stantec Architecture for Cortellucci Vaughan Hospital. Then there's Silver for Suishi.
but the hospitals and clinics gold goes to Woods Bagot. Aobang Beauty is a leading Chinese beauty care practice which takes a science-based approach to awakening the body's regenerative capabilities. So spatial experiences were created to define classified zones with linger, respite and solitude identified as key design opportunities. Hello, I'm Michael Kang, a healthcare design leader from Uzbega. On behalf of Jimmy Hui Clinic Design Team, I'd like to thank the World Interiors News for this award recognition. We also would like to thank our client, Alba Medical Group, for engaging Uzbega to refresh its branding in China. From our side, we'll continue to strive in delivering high quality wellness oriented spaces that raises the holistic health experience for all users. Thank you. Winning gold for hospitals and clinics, Woods Bagot. Moving on now to hospitality and the win award for bars and clubs, where seven made the shortlist. And here it's bronze for pig design. There's silver for Nature Time's art design. But claiming the gold award, it's LW Design. Leon is a daringly fun speakeasy inspired bar just off the main lobby at the iconic Dubai edition. A secret bar wrapped in black St. Laurel marble with mesh fronted vintage cabinets discreetly housing rare liquors, adding to a sense of mystery. We are all very grateful to receive this prestigious international award and we are also very proud that our continued success over the past year has been nothing else. Thank you. Bars and Clubs gold winner LW Design. Next in our award spotlight, it's restaurants and cafes, and there are seven contenders for this award. And from those, we have two bronze winners. Buck Studio. And LW Design for Jolie. It's silver for Roark Renew. But taking the restaurants and cafes gold award, it's Preem. This winner features a stylized, lightly French aesthetic based on desert inversions and sacred axes. Its main dining space features a mighty inverted pyramid slagged in earthy rose tan plaster, while warm, mellow lighting spills over leather and limestone dining sofas. Hey, I'm Alexis Redinger. I founded the Hospitality Design and Architecture Studio Preen. It feels great to win this award. Thank you, Wen. Restaurants and Cafes Gold Winner, Pre. Next, it's hotels and other overnight accommodation. And this time, six finalists.
and from those finalists, two bronze awards. It's bronze for Mason Studio. And bronze to Shenzhen Yang Bangsheng Interior Design. But claiming the gold win trophy, it's LW Design for Dubai Edition. With this win, LW Design has created arguably the most innovative edition hotel in the world. With elevated style, materials and design language, celebrating diversity, reflecting the best of cultural and social environments, and introducing a new generation of understated and restrained luxury. We're so pleased to be winning this award today. We'd like to thank the judges for recognizing our hard work. Um, we'd also like to thank the operator, the client for believing in us and for allowing us to deliver this wonderful project. Winning gold for hotels and other overnight accommodation, LW Design. Next, three awards for leisure and entertainment, starting with cinemas, theatres and music venues, where we have a bronze winner. So the Win Bronze Award goes to One Plus Partnership for Cine Sky Cinema Phase 3. This winner extracted the images of blue sky and white cloud from the Chinese characters of the cinema name, both of which form design elements throughout the entire space, each independent function featuring designs with unique characteristics. Winning bronze for cinemas, theatres and music venues, One Plus Partnership. Next, the award for spas, health clubs and gyms, and four impressive finalists. From those, there's a silver award for Kokai Studios. But the judges' gold winner, Vermilion Zhu Design Group for Green Massage, Shanghai Badang Road. This winner is situated on an open second basement floor, a feature which Vermilion Zhu Design Group turned into a distinct advantage creating a rabbit hole entrance which gradually disconnects from reality, unconsciously surrounding visitors with a natural sensory experience to liberate and relax. We are extremely honoured to be receiving Wing Award this year in spa, health clubs and gym category. We are earnestly grateful for this recognition we have received for our work. Every other nominee for this award was as capable of winning this award. I sincerely thank our client to trust us and thank my team for helping reach a stage where we can proudly hold up this award as a mark of our achievement. We promise to only work better at our work so that you can see us here for a more such awards. Thank you. Spas, health clubs and gyms winner, Vermilion Jew Design. We come now to sports stadiums and sports centres. And in this category, one entry made the shortlist. And that was Toka Social at the O2 from Gensler. But the judges decided not to present any awards in this category. So let's move on to our next category. And that's residential developments, where there are five contenders for the win trophy. And this time we have an outright winner, so taking the gold award, it's More Design Office. In an eastern suburb of Chengdu, China, MDO has transformed an old state-run factory into a vivid city hall, prioritizing a clear transition from old to new, blurring boundaries between architecture and landscape, and creating a new social dialogue with the city. Hello. Um, thank you very much to the, the jury and to Win Awards for this great honour. 
Um, this project's very dear to our hearts because it's looking at reuse and sustainability. Um, and I think, you know, I really want to dedicate this project to our team and to our client with so much hard work and dedication, um, how we all came together and made this project possible. Thank you. Residential Development's gold winner, More Design Office. Next, it's the award for one-off homes, both large and small, and there are two contenders for the title and the trophy. And this time, one wins silver and the other takes gold. So we'll reveal the gold winner first, and that's Olsen Kundig. Nestled in the sand dunes on the northern coast of Sydney, Australia, this flexible family home was designed to withstand dramatic climate conditions. So it's organised into transparent and opaque zones, skillfully balancing the need for protection with the desire to directly engage with the surrounding natural landscape. Hi everybody, Tom here. Thank you so much for this award. On all levels, this is a meaningful award. We had a terrific client to work with and uh, it was a great group here in, inside the office. And for us to get an award for the Bogola Beach House, we could not be happier or more honored. Thank you. The Win Awards Gold winner for one-off homes, Olsen Kundig. And congratulations, of course, to LW Design on their silver win. We move on to retail design now, and this sector's first award is for the best work in retail chain stores, department stores, supermarkets, and showrooms. And this time, there are seven fine contenders for the award. And from those, the judges made two bronze awards. The first to Benoit, the David Jones Elizabeth Street flagship store. And the second bronze goes to Benoit for Cizen Sujo Wu Yu Plaza. Then it's a silver award for Lead 8 and The Ring. But taking gold here, Eternal Architectural Design. The judges felt their winner successfully captured this city's temperament, perfectly integrating the culture and scenery of Taizhou into the unique design of their Zhong Sugar bookstore, creating a haven for those who yearn for a slower life and a temporary escape from reality. Hello, 这个项目是以泰州特有文化为核心的书店，我们希望通过这个项目能够为商业空间注入文化活力，塑造不同地方文化的差异性特征。未来我们会继续努力，带着这份殊荣和感恩，为社会创造更有价值的设计。Gold winner for retail chain stores, department stores, supermarkets and showrooms, Eternal Architectural Design. Next, it's independent shops or small chains, and there are six finalists for this award. And from those, there's a bronze award for Sylvia Fermanovic. It's silver for Liang Architecture Studio.
but taking gold, it's Kamita Pen for Moulds of Happiness, Majimaya's confectionery tool shop. Moulds of Happiness, founded by its current president's grandfather, is officially the oldest confectionery tool shop in Japan, creating 3,000 different moulds for businesses all over the world and making people happy. Hello everyone, this is Masahiro Yoshida. I'm with Amito Pen. Amito Pen is Japanese word that means paper and pencil. Thank you for you choose me this honor award. I'm very honored. I really want to go to the award ceremony, but I can't go because of the terrible corona in Japan. I hope to win again next year and be at the award ceremony. Again, thank you so very much. Bye-bye. Winning gold for independent shops or small chains, Kamito Pen. We come now to the award for visual merchandising, concessions and pop-ups. And this time, there's a bronze winner. So receiving the Win Bronze Award for visual merchandising, concessions and pop-ups, it's WIT Design and Research for Jetlag Pop-Up Bookstore. Jetlag Books Pop-Up Shop is a 500 square meter magazine store in a large shopping mall in Beijing with a large cloud-like installation which successfully attracts attention to its vibrant store at a time when physical bookstores, like clouds, can easily disappear. Winning bronze for visual merchandising, concessions and pop-ups, WIT Design and Research. We come now to this year's Win Award for Transport Hubs, and here, two finalists go head-to-head -head for the trophy. From those, just one bronze winner for Benoit. Jewel Changi VIP Lounge is located within Jewel Changi Airport, providing an exclusive and luxurious lounge that offers a differentiated and unique experience for an exclusive group of guests, such as government ministers and high net worth individuals. Congratulations to bronze winner, Benoit. So next we come to the first of today's Workspace Interior Awards, starting with corporate offices of less than 10,000 square meters. And these are the finalists. From those, it's a bronze award for LYCS Architecture. Then the judges awarded silver to Integrated Field Company. But their gold winner is ADAS Interiors. ADAS Interiors created an office for AC Energy a company specialising in renewable energy sources in the heart of Manila, with a design inspired by wind and solar energy production and transmission of electricity. Workstations were inspired by the wind turbines that ASEN uses to generate electricity and are further enhanced by custom-designed lighting. Thanks so much for consideration for the win awards in the category of corporate interiors. On behalf of IDAS Interiors and all of our team, we would like to thank our amazing client team, ASIN, for the awards panel for consideration. This project has been a real inspiration for all of us. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Congratulations to the gold winner for corporate offices under 10,000 square meters, ADAS Interiors. Next, it's corporate offices over 10,000 square meters. And here come the six in contention.
And from those, there's a silver award for Gensler. But the gold award here goes to Hastings. Having outgrown their former space, UTA relocated their Nashville office to a newly revitalised historic building. Envisioned as a gallery of talent, it's designed to showcase the artists, creatives and entertainers represented by UTA, using accents of darker tones, textures and materials that infuse the environment with subtle touches of edge and soul. Good evening from Nashville, Tennessee. My name is William Hastings with Hastings Architecture. Thank you to World Interior News for recognizing our firm and more importantly, our client, United Talent Agency, with this nomination and award. We are so honored to be recognized tonight. Also, congratulations to all the other nominees and winners. Thank you. Winning for corporate office with more than 10,000 square meters, Hastings for UTA Nashville. Next, it's lobbies and amenities in corporate offices. And there's no award to present, but the judges wanted to make special mention of one finalist, and that's Snarky Texture and their 530 Broadway project. So congratulations to them. And now it's on to the award for studios, co-working spaces, and home offices. And these are the finalists. And from those, the judges made just one award, and that's a bronze for Unispace Zurich. Congratulations to you. Unispace Zurich seamlessly blends hospitality into the office, balancing two important functions of a showroom for clients and a destination workplace for colleagues. Contemporary minimalism echoes themes traditionally seen in Swiss design, balanced with natural wood and a soft colour palette for an approachable feel. Bronze winner for studios, co-working spaces and home offices, Unispace Global. Our last few presentations are the Special Judges Awards. Their first goes to the Interiors Practice of the Year, where two finalists go head-to-head -head for this coveted win award. And from those, the title Interiors Practice of the Year goes to LW Design. LW has established a notable worldwide presence in recent years with many impressive award-winning projects from its offices in Dubai, Hong Kong, Sao Paulo and Denmark. Their designers partner closely with clients to create unique functional features guaranteed to bring a venue to life. We at LW thank you for being recognised for this prestigious international award. We're generally recognised for our hospitality projects, so it's great to be recognised for our recent residential properties. Win Interiors Practice of the Year, LW Design. And so to our final award, the Win Awards Outstanding Project of the Year. This is where all of this year's gold winners were considered for this ultimate accolade. So from a very strong field, I can now reveal that the Win Award for Outstanding Project of the Year goes to Kamito Pen for Moulds of Happiness, Maji Mayer's Confectionery Tool Shop. There are 3,000 different moulds available to view. Given the limited space, a layout was required that allowed customers to see all of them. The moulds were displayed in the centre of the building and in addition, 3,000 tin boxes were arranged around them. By linking the display with the number printed on the box, customers can select the moulds themselves. And while choosing, customers are subconsciously guided up and down the building. Congratulations to the Win Awards 2022 Outstanding Project of the Year. Kamito Pen for Maggie Mayer's Confectionery Tool Shop. Well, that's it. Huge congratulations to all of this year's finalists, to our bronze and silver winners, and of course, to our deserving gold winners. You can find out more about all of them on the World Interiors News website. And keep a lookout for the Win Awards Annual Review. Thank you for joining us.